Welcome in. It's a Tuesday edition of Core Bets. I'm Dylan Corvette. He's Matt Cruzan. Look at this. We've got some new technology. <laughs> Little pop mic there. How about that? Uh, let's get into some bets here. We've got baseball. We've got basketball. Um, Monday Night Football. I watched 10 seconds of the Falcons game. Don't ask me about it. It's, I, I hate them. I hate them. Um, anyway, so let's start with baseball. We got baseball all day, all four games in action. And uh, we're going to start with my play. I've got one play. I hit the Yankees yesterday, drank some juice uh, for today. I was looking through, getting some totals, some money lines. Uh, there's game twos right going on as well, game one in the National League. Uh, so I went to the Oakland-Houston uh, game where I am on the over, over nine. Uh, it is Framber Valdez uh, going against Sean Manaya, who's a good pitcher, but he's had a little bit of a rough season to where the fact that he's, uh, his ERA is a bit inflated. So they hit the over with ease yesterday, so I'm going to go back to the well and take the Astros A's over nine there, and that's my only baseball play. Yeah, I like that. Manaya has not been good this year. Valdez did throw well in relief against uh, yeah. the Twins last week, but who wouldn't the way they were hitting? Oh. So uh, I'd also have one baseball play. I'm standing pat in the American League for today. I want to see how those series goes just with the So you, uh, just to recap, you had Chris Bassett in this game uh, under four strikeouts. That was a push. Yeah, I – the colors was the one to take i like i said i knew he would have a short leash and he didn't throw well but yeah. he did get he he got up to the push so that was tough uh national league though i'm gonna go with the dog here in the miami marlins in game one plus 170 they have good numbers against max freed that lineup does in general sandy alcantara can really throw it uh guy throws heat throws through really well against the cubs uh, they looked really good against the Cubs, as bad as the Cubs did, but that lineup put together good at bat after good at bat against Hendricks and Hugh Darvish. I, I think they have a chance there, so give me the juice on that, plus 170. I like that. Marlins uh, are the team I'm rooting for right now that the Cardinals are out. Got to love a dog there. Um, and Sandy Alcantara, speaking of uh, Cardinals that we traded away. Uh, former, chief, former chief. Former chief, yeah, we could have used him. Uh, anyway, so that's that's a nice play there. I, I was looking at that. Uh, it seems that Sharps th – those are teams that are familiar with each other in the NL East too. So the Marlins got to be feeling confident. It's freed against Alcantara. It's going to be exciting. Uh, and you got a nice price there. Let's go to the hardwood. All, all four uh, of these series are division series. I crazy. just realized that. Yeah. Yeah, crazy how that worked out. Uh, to the hardwood. Staying away from the NBA Finals, I'm going to watch tonight as a fan. Uh, the numbers have been spot on. Vegas has been spot on with the uh, – it's seven and a half again tonight. The total has been almost identical uh, all three games. So, I'll, I'll stand by. I know you've got to play on that, Matt. We'll get into that in just a second. Let's flip to the WNBA. Possible uh, lifting of the trophy occurring tonight for Seattle. Uh, we hit game one. You did. Cash. I hit him game two. Cash. We're both on this play. Seattle minus seven and a half. And also, I'll hit the total. Uh, both games have gone over. Uh, and it's a, it's a high total at 171 and a half. Let's get that baby up. So, I'm going to hit Seattle and the over there. That wraps up my card. I think Seattle, Brianna Stewart lifting the trophy. And I think a little bit of, remember, they're in the bubble, the wobble that they're calling it, the WNBA bubble. I think Vegas is ready to get the bleep out of there. Uh, I think everyone's ready to go back to their homes, right? So I've got Seattle in the blowout, a lot of points. Yeah, Vegas has already have their bags packed uh, the night of the storm. They get it done today, raise the trophy. NBA, I am going back to the Lakers. I have yet to make a play in this NBA Finals. Uh, I think they come back convincingly. Obviously, we know they just had to let down 2-0 game. I think they come back convincingly, win big tonight, and get a gentleman sweep in five. That's my lean, uh, but I'm rooting for the heat, so I couldn't get myself to pull the trigger. Uh, he's Matt Cruz, and I'm Dylan Corbett. Short and sweet Corbett's here today on a Tuesday. We're back with Corbett's Corner tomorrow and Corbett's, of course. Uh, cash with us. Hit subscribe. We're going for 80 this week. Uh, and then also, you had something. I lost my train of thought here for something. Else. No, one, one more play. MLS tonight. Minnesota oh, I'm sorry. United. Yes, of course. No, you're good. You're good. Minnesota United, the Loons, plus 210. They're a How better side. That's my squad. The, they played Nashville. It's on the road, but all these games are neutral sites as far as I'm concerned. Give me the better team at over 2-1 to one odds. Minnesota Loons tonight. Perfect. Yeah, so that's the MLS action today. I got to look at that as well. I completely forgot that off my card. I it's might the have only to tell game. you. It's the only game tonight. There's a bunch tomorrow, but uh, that one tonight. 
tailing. Uh, he's Matt Cruz, and I'm Dylan Corbett. The point I was trying to make, Corbett's corners back tomorrow. We'll buy and sell some NFL teams as we do every week, and we'll talk about the MLB playoffs here in the divisional series. All right, keep it locked with us here. Hit subscribe. Thank you.